What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Farming Simulator 2022. Alright, so it's the next morning. It's very very early in the morning still. So the sun is still busy rising. So uh, yeah, there's been a couple of things we've discussed, uh, my uncle Bob and I last night. So first of all, uh, the little Fiat tractor I did start it up last night and it was running very rough. It's not really in a condition where we can use it for any farm work at this stage. So we've got it up here on the ramps. So I'll be doing a, a service on this maybe a little bit later on. But we will be borrowing the tractor from somebody he knows. Uh, it's quite a distance away so and we don't really have transport at the moment well we'll get to that in a bit but we do need to start plowing up the field so we've managed to borrow a tractor and my uncle said there is a plow that we can also use um, it's also quite a while away from here so we're gonna have to be able to get there somehow and he said that the lady next door got a bicycle for us to borrow so this is going to be uh, quite an interesting well mode of transport for us so he said that I can just walk here around the backyard and should stand here in the yard ah, there it is so yeah I will be getting some exercise in the process to see right it is quite an old bicycle all right so let's get going then we've got quite a distance to travel actually so we'll probably leave the bicycle there and then bring it back home a bit later on when we are done with everything so all right so here we go now the tractor that we are borrowing is a uh, is powerful enough to quite a, a big plow so which will help us quite a bit actually just try not to get run over by cars all right so can't wait to actually start plowing those fields because I think it's gonna make a world of a difference as for the field stone just let this car pass we will be seeding over the field stone so it's not really a big issue it's just going to be a little bit of damage to our cedar but that's fine we'll probably get a stone picker for the next season or such so we'll see all right so we are making our way oh, this is a big steep hill you hear a car coming again now this is actually quite dangerous all right so now let me just think I think I may have taken the wrong way let me just go back down I'm trying to find my bearing still in this little town and maybe this is safer if we head into the oncoming lane can see the cars coming. Ah, I think this is it. At least this road is a bit more quiet, so no cars driving around here. Let's take it slow across this little bridge. I don't really call it a bridge. Looks like it has collapsed. But yeah, this is uh, this is the place where we can borrowed a tractor from, if I'm not mistaken. 
I can see it is parked in a little shed at the back of the property. Oh, look at that old Jaguar over there. Alright, so I think it would be good if we just leave our bicycle here somewhere. Yeah, that should be fine. Alright, well, that's our only mode of transport at the moment. So we'll maybe uh, ask the lady if we can buy it off her. We'll see. My goodness, this is quite a big tractor. Alright, well, let's uh, get going. We need to go and pick up the plow. So, my plans for today are to see if I can get the fields ploughed, uh, trying to get rid of all those weeds that we have there, so that hopefully when we get our own tractor running again, we can start seeding and get a, a little bit of crop in the ground. Now, I did speak to my uncle about what crop we are going to be putting in, so we'll probably be putting in wheat or barley because um, he said he, he said he might um, consider getting some chickens um, if I'm willing to run it so I said yeah why why not get something else for the farm and get out the farm financially a bit right so let's see this is uh, actually where we came to deliver the tomatoes yesterday where I saw that old pickup truck so yeah, I haven't spoken to my uncle about it because I'd like to find out a bit more about that pickup truck, if it's for sale or whatever. But let's focus on the business at hand today. I'm trying to get some work done on the farm. Alright, let me just hop out here. Alright, that should be connected properly. Oh, this is quite a nice plow, actually. Oh, well, it's actually very nice that we could find uh, a tractor and a plow to borrow at the same time. So this is actually working in our favor quite well. Roads are quite narrow actually for big equipment. I wouldn't imagine driving a harvester or combine on these narrow roads. But luckily our farm yard, we don't really have to leave the farm yard with the combine at all. Alright, so what I'm thinking is we can probably enter the field from this side. I'm going to have to go through the yard because I don't think this tractor will fit through our gate there. Alright, moment of truth. Let's see if I have connected this thing up properly. So if I push that lever, that should work. Alright, so are we lined up? Yeah, we should be okay. Alright, well, let's get plowing. Lower this down. Alright, so, yeah, you can see there's going to be a lot of field stone. But that's alright, we'll, we'll hopefully just have to bear with it for this season. Next season should be a bit better for us financially then we should be able to get some proper equipment to do a bit of a better job on the fields <coughs> now also did speak to my uncle about the combine 
um, saying, seeing as if we don't have a header for it. And he said that um, the last header he had for the harvester was a corn header. And he actually just sold it because he doesn't want to do any more corn or sunflowers or anything like that. So we'll probably end up looking for a used header for that combine. Trying to get something as cheap as possible just so that we can harvest our wheat or barley whichever one we are going to be planting so all right let's get this going so this is a uh, not too big of a field so shouldn't take us too long to do I must say this tractor is actually very nice. It's doing a pretty good job at this taking out these weeds. This is an amazing plow as well. Careful not to go into the road once we turn around. It's been a while since I actually drove a tractor this big. Alright, we are struggling a bit uphill but the downhill goes much quicker. Well, we are doing a good job by the looks of it. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that we have uh, spoken about the, the trees in the backyard. We also said that um, we'll just uh, wait for the time until he can start getting some equipment for chopping down the trees because it doesn't even have a chainsaw yet. So we will be looking into that in the near future, he said. So for the time being, we'll just um, just hang on to that for now. So it looks like we've got about one or two more passes to do on this field and we should be done with the plowing. I must say this tractor is actually very good. Don't know if our little tractor would have been able to pull this plow anyway. And for us it's quite an experience driving this bigger tractor. Alright, let's see. I don't know if I can just finish this up by doing one more pass. I think it might be wide enough, we'll see. Maybe we'll miss a little bit and then come back for, for the final bit. Right, that is doing the job quite well actually. Just mind that little tree over there. Yeah, I thought I was gonna hit it, so let's just back up a bit. Make sure we go around it. Just be sure to plow this little part over here. Oh, there we go. I must say this tractor has done amazing so far. It's not really struggling at all. Alright, 
right so looks like we don't have any mist bits on the field ah, except for that little bit over there but I'll quickly spin around and just be sure to catch that all right so I think that is basically the first field ready for us to put a crop into it now I think what I'll do once I'm done with this tractor and plow I'll give it a little bit of a wash oh yeah my uncle said that the pressure washer we can use it again because yesterday I grabbed the, the, the lever there but I said nah, I'll just use the garden hose, but the pressure washer is working today, so it did manage to get it set up for us again. So we will be using that maybe in the future to clean our equipment. Alright, let's start on the second field. Now this one is a bit of a hot shape here at the end, but it shouldn't be a problem for us. What I'm going to do is going to go up and down in the length like we did with the other field rather. Just wanted to get that um, funny angle done first. All right, let's go up. All right, so we are flying uphill again. Oh, that tree was just just in the way, but we got it. I can't really see where the plow is, the end of it. I don't know how we would have been able to do this without this plow and this tractor. Because last night when I started up the little Fiat and it just didn't run properly, I was I was actually worried. I was like stressed out a bit about how am I going to do anything without a tractor. And luckily my my uncle has got a lot of connections in this town, so that helps a lot. Right, let's get back up the hill. Just make sure we aren't overlapping anything. Oh, there we go. Yeah, like riding a bike, they say which we have done this morning already all right and it shouldn't take too much too long fortunately these fields aren't that huge I actually think this tractor is a bit of an overkill for a small field like this Back it up again. a nice little house over there
you know, the trees seem to be attracting a lot of wildlife. See some of these deers running around here. Oops. Alright, let's just uh, go back a bit. I think maybe I overshot that a bit. Alright, there we go. That is looking much better. passes I'll put this one and should be done I must say this tractor is actually it's it's, uh, it's quite a good machine for this type of work but I don't think we'll be buying anything like this anytime soon. As I said, it's a bit overkill for the size of the fields that we have, but we'll never, we don't know, we'll see what the future holds in class. Alright, so, looks like we are on our second last pass in this field, and it should be done. Alright, let me just go back a bit, maybe I'm trying to go too wide. Get it? Yes, we got it. All right. All right. This will be the last pass. this bit over here. There we go. Oh, that looks so much better already. So this field also will be ready for a crop which we will hopefully see it very soon. All right let's get this plow lifted up and fold it back in. Now, as I said, I will take the tractor back to the yard and clean it up a bit. Oh my, the church bells. So that must be 12 o'clock lunchtime. Just uh, the bees, the bees are buzzing here. Quite noisy, actually. a little tractor. Uh, hopefully we'll get it sorted soon. Alright, let's uh, grab our fancy new pressure washer. Well, new to us. And we'll get this cleaned up a bit. <clears throat> That looks much better already. The flower is actually yellow and not brown. Hmm. Let's get the case washed up a bit. I don't know if this hose will reach this far. We'll see. Yeah, that's about as far as the hose will go.
but I think that should do. Alright, now we can return the plow and the tractor to their rightful owners again. And then we can come back with our bicycle and have a look at our work that we have done today. <coughs> thinking of putting a track in here for us to drive our vehicles on. We'll probably have to do a bit of landscaping there. Obviously dodge this pole that we have here. Power line. Alright, well, let's uh, take this magnificent machine back because this machine really helped us quite a lot today. So we'll get this dropped off and make our way back to the house. We'll first off drop off the plow. Right, we shall put it back where we found it. I'm sure they will appreciate it now that it's um, cleaned up as well. Right, that should be good. Lower it down. Oh, maybe not. I don't want to put the plow into the ground while I'm dropping it, so... Now we have to lower it first, I think. Alright, so let's put it down and disconnect. There we go. That is a great plow. Alright, let's get the tractor dropped off. little creek over there. Right, we shall also put this tractor back where we found it. Alright, let's back it up just the way we found it. Alright, that should be good. Right. Yeah, that machine looks much better now that it's clean. Alright, hopefully one day I will have a nice vehicle like this. This thing looks brand new still. Volvo S60 T6 Maybe one day, we can only dream For the moment, this is what we have Alrighty, well, let's get going Did want to have a quick look at that um, Jaguar that's parked under the shed Yeah, I don't know if it's for sale or what There is something in the window. Let me just have a look here. It is for sale. There is a contact number. Well, I don't know if this will be within our budget, but it might be worth giving them a call and finding out what they 
what they are looking to get out of it. Because at this stage I think anything will be better than, well, not really nothing, because luckily we don't have nothing. But we'll see what we can afford and see what they want to get out of that Jaguar, so... Oh, well, I've taken the, the number now, so we'll we'll give them a ring and see what they say. Right, for now, I think... I want to go and actually wash this bicycle a bit as well. So let's just uh, make our way home. It's actually very really nice of the neighbor to borrow the bicycle to us. So I would um, definitely ask her if she's willing to sell it to me. Alright, so let's get back onto the road where the cars are. I think I should stick to the oncoming lane side so that we can see the cars coming, approaching. I think it's a lot safer than having the vehicles come from behind. See, there's actually a lot of people using bicycles in this town, so it's not an uncommon mode of transport, so oh my goodness. Ah, oh, that's not good. Just drove up the pole here. Alright, wait for the traffic to pass. Damn, I hit my arm against this freaking power line. Yeah, mate, this was an accident, come on. Alright, let's get back on the road here. Yeah, I'm not really fond of cycling. But, as I said, it's our only means of transport at the moment, so... Uh, I do have the remote, I wonder if... Yeah, it's in my pocket, let me just get it. There we go. So I will wash the bicycle before I return it. Alright, so... I banged my arm quite hard against that power line back there. Let's see if we can get this bicycle washed up a bit. This is really not the safest means of transport, but it's a lot quicker than walking. At least. Alright, that, that looks much better. Quite an old bicycle, so I don't think it will be perfect, but it's much better than it was. Alright, let's uh, take it back next door. Let's go around here by the bees. Hopefully we don't get stung by a bee on the way past. Alrighty. Let me just put this where I found it. There we go. Alright, I did want to have a quick look at the fields that we have just ploughed. My, that's a big improvement. So yeah, we do have some small stones on this field by the looks of it. But as I said, we're not going to be too concerned about it this season. So this field looks much better. And so does the other one. That's a little bit of a longer field. But it's a little bit narrower. Right, so these stones, they look a little bit bigger because it has been cultivated before to bring up some small stones and now about it up so we've got a bit more stone on this field but that's also fine we'll we'll manage this season 
Alright, well then, I think I'm going to be leaving this episode here. So, thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate every view and like. And also subscribe to the channel for new videos. And thank you very much and goodbye.